Hello, this is Shadowmat, so welcome back to the Let's Play of Starship Troopers. Now, let's get started on. First of all, we have to name our character and squad. We have the default name Johnny here. As you can imagine, that sounds retarded. Let's change it to something better. How about Lieutenant Badass Motherfucker? Oh, we reached the limit of letters. Uh, I don't think we can have badass more. Fuck. I don't think we just got for badass. Uh, what should we look like? Him? Oh god, not him. Ah! Uh, I don't know. What, don't know what he's thinking. No him. Ah! Uh, these are all horrible people. Oh my god, how could he be happy? And him! Oh god. Ah! I'll just go for default. Um, default guy. Now, what shall we be called? Apache? Sounds gay. Black guards. Badasses, black guards. Centaurs. Headhunters. Hornets? Volunteers, that sounds, just, sounds extremely gay. Vikings! Vikings! Wildcats! Wolverines! I think we go for Wolverines, everyone wants it. Oh, this is the only part of the dialogue that isn't actually uh, spoken out, so I'll read out. This is 20, this is about 10.15. At that night, at October 18th, 2369. Update. Now that the Terran Council has declared war against the Arachnids of Kandafu, Command HQ has immobilized a massive invasion force. Six mobile infantry divisions are about to deploy from orbit and devastate their main Arachnid population centers. Takrikon has detected plasma launches from the planet's surface. Analysis indicates that these launches are random and present no danger to MI dropships. Our assault will commence at dusk, when those arachnids will be asleep. We're going to give these bugs a wake-up call they'll never forget. Let's go! Oh, let's save. Uh. Uh. Um. Oh, wait. There we go. Let's go. Good evening, Lieutenant. This is your battalion commander speaking, Colonel Dubois. The Valley Forge is currently in orbital formation above Klendatu. Klendatu has been confirmed as the arachnid home world and is populated by millions of bugs. Xenographic samples indicate that the majority of the bugs will be dormant when we strike and surface encounters will be minimal. Your strategic objectives are as follows. Your strike team will deploy as part of the first wave. Your objective is to eliminate all arachnid hostiles from your mission sector before the main landing force is launched. Your team is to sweep through the mission sector, locate all arachnid tunnel entrances, and destroy them. Make sure you leave no tunnel entrances open behind you. As you progress through the mission sector, search for and destroy any surface dwelling arachnids. Once you have achieved these objectives, Contact Fleet Liaison to organize retrieval of your team. Proceed now to assemble your strike team. Yes, here's the map. That's what it looks like. I think we drop it right here, and that's where we go out. They never explain what these are in the manual. And uh, these are the book holes. These stars. And here's the most common book in the game, our mortal enemy, the warrior. Yeah, there's no known vulnerabilities. You can use any gun you can on them. That's about it. Don't use pistol, it's crap. Uh, one thing worth notice is that the films and a lot of the series of after the film will indicate that there's a nerve stem on the creature which is vulnerable. It's kind of pointed out it's somewhere within this region, but uh, I've seen some in the first person shoot they recommend to shoot 
about here. Well, I think the nerve stem's about here, but not there. That's where legs join up. And alt warrior, well, no worker. Uh, that's about it. Uh, this screen here is fairly useless. Yeah, we might as well bypass it altogether. Here we are. Yep, me badass. Yep. He, you can rename any of these characters if you want to, guys. I mean, uh, you want to give a heads up about what you want to call them. Be fine. Now you're going to see me go for all men here, apart from one woman who can choose a uh, lance corporal. Oh no, don't want her. The reason I go for all men is because men have, I think, better combat stats, whereas women have generally better specialist stats. Like, it's not sexist or anything, I just never really use the women unless they're very good high ranking. We're going to be using a chain gun for the most of the part, because it's a badass weapon. These just modify your range and your targeting capabilities. It's best to give them to your best guys. You can use them, see me use the Marauder suits for the most part, because it's the better suit. Scout suit only has better range of lights and range. It's not very good combat stats. Yeah, you might have one thing this is, it's called a light cannon. It's perhaps one of the worst weapons in the game, it does no damage. And there's a humble new culture. We won't be taking this mission, but we'll be getting next mission. Now we need to bring a grenade launcher and two rocket launchers. I don't know what that's going to be the grenade launcher because it's the worst weapon in the game, but the rocket launchers are useful. Let's go! Guys and welcome to the first mission. We'll go this way to okay, begin with. Here's our first warrior book. We've seen the tip to My moon, I'm talking. <laughs> Here he is, he's pissed off. See, it was easy, but okay, if you take him, loads him, you'll die. Here we have around it, a special. There's a first buckle, and here's gonna be a special sequence around the corner. Some dudes around the corner, what they're gonna do. There, I don't know why they go off. That is odd. You're supposed to nuke them. Good 
Yeah, you'll get used to the bugs doing the roars. You'll know what they mean after a while. 